lining up brand new 2024. Uh, I think it's Mr. Hector Lopez just dropped the vehicle off. As always, we do a full point inspection on it to make sure obviously there's oil in it and the engine and everything else, but it's a brand new truck. So it's good to go off of and show you guys baseline results. Went ahead and made four pulls back to back to back to back. First two, 596, you can see pretty how consistent it is. 596 rural horsepower, 567, 569 rural torque. Second two pulls, heat soaked a little bit, but still not bad. 590, then 589. 2024 truck and this car is getting I believe it's our 950 horsepower uh, with ethanol so with E85 so it should be a uh, pretty kick-ass truck when we're done from horsepower gains to custom enhancement we deliver results late model racecraft we talking or we racing hey guys so today we have Mr. Hector Lopez's TRX up above me here. We've gone ahead and already done our baseline on this vehicle. And I want to lay the parts out just to show you guys what our 950 plus package looks like with our stock supercharger. So with the stock supercharger, we're going to go ahead and spin a little faster with our Innovators West lower pulley. We go ahead and pair that with an even smaller pulley for the upper coat and a grip tech surface coating to help with the smaller diameter and smaller wrap around to help that belt not slip anymore. Um, Gates has been great to us. They offer these HD belts that have extra grip on the inside and longer life compared to a stock belt. So we're going to throw one of those on there to make up for the ratio change between the lower and the upper pulley. And to keep everything cool, we have a 180 degree thermostat that we're going to also throw in there. This is just an added security to keep those temps down, especially if it's a Texas truck. You know, these high heat areas, you know, are detrimental to these trucks. They like to run a little hot, so we try to keep them cool. Um, it's for keeping it cool, we also need injectors. These are ID 1300s. Uh, this customer wants to run E85 on this vehicle, so we're going to up the fuel flow. And with the upgraded injectors, we've got to feed them. So we got this JMS booster pump unit. This goes ahead and interprets the stock voltage and amplifies it like an amplifier, and turning up the voltage to 16 to 18, depending on your uh, load uh, using throttle input. Um, but that's a great product if you don't want to upgrade to a full fuel system, if you're not at that power level yet. Um, and with that, we're going to make it sound a lot better too. We got these American Racing Inch and 7 eighths headers. We're going to throw these in with some connection pipes, make the stock exhaust sound even better. I think these trucks sound great stock, but with headers, they just wake it up, especially under load when you're on the highway. You can go ahead and stab it and you have that roar behind you. Um, and then what everybody loves about these Hellcats, that blower whine. So SMB supplied us with this beautiful top mount cold air intake. Uh, uses this large element filter that's also serviceable. So it's nice, you don't have to go buy filters. And it has this beautiful window cutout that they like to do on most of their intakes that gives you a nice view on top of the engine where you don't have that big giant plastic box like a factory air box would be. Um, so these are our power mods, but with power, you gotta figure out how you're gonna stop this big old truck. These things weigh about like 8,000 pounds, so you wanna make sure you can stop in time. You got this beautiful Alcon big brake kit uh, this fits under a stock wheel, so you don't have to change your wheel or tire size, don't have to change anything like brake lines. This is a full bolting kit, so you retain your stock wheels, and the price is very affordable compared to like the bigger brake kits where you have to use a 20-inch wheel. We see a lot of benefits with uh, surface area. The pad surface is a lot bigger, and heat dissipation. These rotors are thicker, but they also have thicker veins inside, so the veins help extract that heat and let the brakes not fade as fast when you're going 120, 130 miles an hour on these trucks down the highway. I feel like this is a great package for somebody who's looking for just a little bit above stock and not want to go break the bank trying to make, you know, the world's fastest TRX, but still have enough power to get around a Z06 on the highway. But I'm going to go ahead, start tearing it down, get all the parts off, and we'll check that with you when I got some of the parts going in. All right, so we got the snout off the blower. I have it all apart behind me, uh, but we're going to go ahead and replace this clutched factory pulley with a grip tech and hub, so that way in the future, if he does want to upgrade, he can go ahead and just take these bolts out of the front, not have to remove this whole unit to change the pulley again. Um, and it also eliminates that one-way clutch that's built into these from factory, that after a couple miles, especially with a built motor, or just any performance mods done to it, they do tend to fail because of the added load to them. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this cap off. I did that off camera because it was being more pain than it should have. We're gonna get our specialty tool on here. 
And this jig ends up holding this whole shaft together so we can go ahead and loosen just the pulley up top. There we go. So we have our pulley off. Go ahead and put a little bit of red Loctite on this deal. bolts in it now. They go through here. We'll be able to lower the blower back down. Go ahead and put our blower bolts back on. All right, so we got our JMS boost pump here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and install it under the seat. Um, this goes ahead, like I said earlier in the video, it takes your factory voltage and bumps it up to get more flow out of the stock pumps. We're gonna run these lines through the cab. There's a factory grommet we go ahead and cut open and run them down to the fuel pump control modules under the truck where we're gonna plug in this end of the, mo the module. And it has a T fitting down there with the stock harness so there's no cutting, it's all plug and play, which is nice if you ever wanna return back to stock. I'm gonna go ahead and run these lines through this grommet back here. It's a little hard to see, but it's right behind the carpet. There's a factory harness hole right here. We're gonna go ahead and try to shove these connectors right through there. With using factory grommets, you don't have to run the risk of chafing wires and know that uh, you know rainwater or splash back from the road is not gonna come back in the cab. All right, so we affix it here with a couple of self-tapping screws into the body of the vehicle. And then we run a harness that goes from the other side of the module down through the back, through the pillars, and up to the accelerator pedal. So it's a variable drive depending on throttle input. So it's not gonna be always running those pumps, getting them hot. It's only when you need it. So it's very controllable and it's scalable too. So it's very good tuning, use, uh, a tuning device. Brand new 2024 Mr. Lopez's super clean uh, TRX. We just did, we call it our 950 plus package. So it's on pump gas and E85, uh, where we'll have to give him two tunes that he can put on his phone on the TDN network and go back and forth. As y'all can see, max on 93 was 752 rear wheel horsepower, 664. Uh, to be honest, I pulled a whole bunch of timing out of it, so it will be safe on 93 if he does go wide open throttle for, I say, high speed stuff. Uh, the way we're spinning the blower, we are spinning it harder for the E85 with the power we want. So on 93, it's probably around 700 rear wheel horsepower where we're going to ship it. 
butt on E85. Over 800 rear wheel horsepower with a stock blower, not ported. This is the perfect package for you TRX and even Hellcat owners out there. This and a Hellcat's over 900 rear wheel horsepower. Just because the drivetrain lost in this truck. But 800 rear wheel horsepower and over 730 rear wheel torque. Don't mind our torque signal. It's kind of messing up right there, but super clean. We'll go see how she runs on the screen. in Mr. Lopez brand new 2024 Ram TRX we've been building a lot of these lately a lot of badass ones lately and this one is no slouch as well Mr. Lopez went with uh, we're calling it our 950 plus uh, package essentially all the bolt-ons um, and you can run either 93 or E85 on this one uh, he chose he's from uh, Louisiana so he will be running E85 all the time and uh, we're gonna give him another tune file in case he does this is just a weekend toy for him so it's not like he drives it every day so if he ever does want to go on a road trip or something like that we're gonna give him an RTD cable so he can load a 93 octane tune file in it just in case he does want to go on a longer road trip but this thing on pump gas I think it was like 750 rear wheel horsepower and on E85 we made right over 800 it was like right at 800 rear wheel horsepower um, and then the tune that we're sending him for 93 just because the way we uh, have the blower speed on this one uh, the 93 octane tune will really be probably closer to 700 rear wheel horsepower if he loads it and wants to have fun with it um, just knowing that I wanted it really safe for 93 because again I know he's gonna run E85 all the time when he wants to play with it and do the things that we're doing um, And I actually just filled up a full tank of gas of E so we're gonna be nice and heavy It is another hot day here in Houston But I'm gonna try to see if I can't get us a nice draggy to see how she does um, Before we got a few more mods to do to it. So again, he did the full performance package and then uh, we're about to do front and rear bumper with lights on it um, as well as I think ceramic uh, coating all the way around and then expel film as well so for now we're just gonna test oh that stinks Viper on the side of the road right there um, we're gonna test the performance out make sure she drives good which she's been driving great uh, we'll just uh, I want to test the shift points make sure everything's good from a stop or from a roll and uh, yeah I want all this complete and then we can worry about doing the exterior to it um, he also upgraded the front brakes which I'm sure if y'all been watching our videos you TRX guys out there a lot of them uh, we recommend doing it we, we had horsepower to these heavy trucks if you do try to go a little bit faster you want to be able to stop these things so the front big brake kit definitely does help and these are brand new I bedded them in just a little bit before uh, making this video right now so we're gonna try to u-turn up here in a second and make a pull and see how she does again just testing the shift points making sure it does what it's supposed to do full tank of gas I wish I had a good prediction for you guys. The last couple we did were like low 11 second, high 10 second trucks. This one, I'm gonna say on this day, with this heat, if it'll just go in the 11s, that would be nice. Um, depends on the 60 foot, I guess, we'll see. This is a stock motor with a stock supercharger on it. So it's pretty much like I said, all full bolt-ons with E85. It's pretty incredible that we can make 800 rear wheel horsepower uh, in a truck like this with that much drivetrain loss. Um, this setup in like a Hellcat for you Dodge guys out there um, would be roughly 900 rear wheel horsepower in a Hellcat with less drivetrain loss. Just to give you guys an idea of how much power these things are making. 
and as always, I always talk about which mode I'm going to put it in. I've been in auto driving it. Uh, just got back from lunch. But we're going to go ahead and put it in Baja mode. That way it'll shift a little bit better, hold the gear a little bit better for normal driving and then for roll racing. Hector did want his to be a little bit louder than stock, so this does have our full bolt-on package with the addition of long tube headers um, with the connection pipes and everything else in the back is still factory. All right, so let's look this over, guys. 60 foot, it did spin really bad in first, but it still went a 183, 60, 330, 489, eighth mile, 740 at 96, quarter, 1140 at 120 not bad for the very first pass and let's check out the log y'all saw i just i always again i put it in baja mode i stall them up to usually right around 2000 rpms and then i hit it um yeah i went right into it so it had a lot of wheel speed early the one two shift though is on point two three shift is on point Three, four, four, five, and the fuel trim. So these things run in closed loop at idle and wide open throttle, which makes them different than the GMs. GMs run in closed loop at idle and cruising only. And what that means is these will actually correct fueling when you are at wide open throttle. So when you are flooring it, it will correct plus or minus fuel to get the target air fuel that we want. And when the tune is proper, like this one, it will be plus or minus 5% at the most is what we want it to add or to subtract. And the most, this one got up to, it looks like bank one is 1 1.7, bank two is 4.2. So they are pretty good on point. Let's check air temps we are spinning this blower a little bit harder than we do our other ones that have run on 93. Uh, that's why it's running so well. That's why I made over 800. This same package, uh, guys, for those of you out there that do plan on, if y'all wanna do this and run E85 and 93, and y'all do wanna be able to run 93 and floor it a lot with 93, we spin the blower a little bit less, and it will make about 770 rear wheel horsepower. But Hector wanted the 800 rear wheel horsepower number, so we spun the blower a little bit harder and got him that number. And even doing that, air temps, again, most people don't go, I hate to say it this fast, in uh, these big trucks, but I have to test them because some customers go crazy at half mile events or off-road in these things. Uh, air temps still look good. Um, it did get, I'll say a little warm at the end of the pool, but nothing uh, to be scared of or to worry me about safety. So all in all, first pass, everything looks good. Uh, if the conditions were a little bit better, obviously she might run a little bit better, but I think we're good there. I'm gonna stop and uh, I'm gonna head back to the shop now. Like I said, uh, now the performance is done, 
uh, we will then do the front and rear bumper, the lights, and then the full ceramic uh, coating for the paint because this is a brand new truck, as well as clear bra. So, hope you enjoyed this, guys, as always. If you all have any questions, comment below. If you're a TRX owner out there and have questions, comment below or go to our website and fill out an inquiry so you can get an idea of what a package like this costs. And uh, I, I've said it a lot, the, the Dodges and the Rams and even the Fords, uh, I hate, as much as it hates me to say it, you get a lot more horsepower for your bang for your buck. You Chevy guys out there, I'm sorry, especially because that's my bread and butter but it costs more money to make a Corvette or a Camaro or a Cadillac make the horsepower that some of these Rams and Dodges and Fords make. It's just a Hemi engine and then the Ford engine, they're just completely different platforms than the Pushrod LT, as well as fueling. The direct injection on the GMs only kind of kills us because we have to spend a lot of money on fuel system stuff to get them to run straight E85 and make good horsepower numbers. But anyways, Hector, you're going to love this thing. Can't wait to get it back to you. But I will stop this video here now. And uh, we might make another one uh, adding the bumpers to it. Or he might add it to this video. We'll just see what Jason does. All right, guys, we're going to end the video here. Uh, just finished making the pull on it. We still have to finish doing the front bumper, rear bumper, all lights all the way around. Plus, it's going to get a special wrap. So check back. Hopefully, uh, in a week or two, we will update you with another video and picture this car completed. Uh, so those of you out there that do have Ram TRXs uh, that do want performance packages plus uh, some aesthetics to make the truck look good, we do do wheels, tires, and bumpers. So uh, hope you enjoyed this and uh, have a great day. Yeah.